Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video as I show you a very easy and quite inexpensive way to make a model airplane hinges using a plastic milk container. Let's get to it. Hinges are one thing that all aircraft full-scale model have to have on their control surfaces. For RC model airplanes, there's a wide range of hinges. There's pinned hinges, there's cloth hinges. Even for smaller micro models like this, on the hinges for the rear, I simply use clear scotch tape and it works absolutely fine. You can't even see the hinges on the back of that airplane. The normal type of hinges that we use um, very often, I got these at Amazon. They're just plastic with a metal pin in the middle. <coughs> they move back and forth like this. And what happens is you cut some slots in your control surface. You simply push them in like so. You put some glue as you're putting them in and the hinge stays in place. The problem is you're always going to get a little bit of glue on this hinge line. That can muck this up. Typically people put Vaseline on that to keep that from being glued itself. But it is a little bit of a hassle and you can uh, make these pretty stiff in the process of gluing them in. But as I said before, hinges are something that we have to do because all the aircraft have to have them. And here's another option that you may consider. What I'll demonstrate now is using a plastic milk container as a source for hinges. So we've all seen the plastic milk containers. This is some of the plastic cut out from the side. You want it uh, fairly flat and it bends, but it's an extremely tough plastic. So just with a pair of scissors, we cut it out to a typical hinge size like this. And what happens to make sure that it glues in, we just sand it a little bit both sides to make it a little bit rough to help with the glue. With an X-Acto knife, we simply cut out a section in here to insert the hinge, and we put the hinge in like this. Now to glue it in, I recommend using five minute epoxy. That works absolutely fine. It's good for gap filling and all that. Remember always in using epoxy glue, use gloves. We got these at um, at Costco, 200 gloves. They just, they last forever. It'll keep you from getting um, um, uh, impacted with a, epoxy glue. And you glue those in place. As you glue them in, scrape away as much as a glue as possible on either side. Once this is in place, here's an example where I've glued it in. That hinge is in there very solid. Remember, this is sanded for a little bit of roughness. And because of the um, stiffness of the glue, it makes it really quite easy to insert it to the other control surface like this. So to hinge two surfaces together, this is 3 uh, 16 inch foam board. You can use balsa or any other types of materials. The edge you want to be a little bit rounded, and I just use a sanding block to round the edge. The reason you want it round is if it's flat, it's going to bump into it as it goes back and forth. You want it to be able to flex back and forth a little bit. You have the hinges glued in in one place. Mix up your epoxy with your rubber gloves, put it on the hinges, and then, as I demonstrated, go ahead and insert it like this. And the other thing is, while this is drying, you want to flex it back and forth and use something like a piece of music wire to scrape out the excess glue. If you just leave it, it'll be glued rigidly together, which you don't want. So that's why the five minute epoxy works well. Scrape out the excess, just keep it moving back and forth so it's not glued into place. After five minutes, this is a completed uh, hinge right here. You can see it goes up to the normal hinge for uh, sport aircraft. If you're doing a 3D, you're going to have to go with the uh, pinned hinges. You just don't have enough throw. It's a little bit stiff due to the plastic, but that's a, a strength of the hinge. Remember that most of your flying is going to be somewhere along here for your control inputs. So I think that's going to be normal for sport flying. It's a good solid bond with the glue. If you want to make sure that it's really tight, if you're worried at all about that, simply drill a uh, small 1 60th inch hole on either side put in a toothpick, trim that off, the toothpick will hold it in with glue, and you should be in pretty good shape for your hinges. Thanks for watching the video. The plastic milk container hinges are an option you may want to consider, very inexpensive, and if you want to give it a try, it works pretty good. I've had good luck with my hinges from the plastic milk bottle. Thank you.